and what is up guys in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a tab layout in Android Studio and essentially it's going to be using a view pager so you can swipe it across and change fragments and at the top I'll show you how to use text and icons so it's fully customizable and it looks great and uh, let's get started immediately so the first thing we're going to do is close this window here and go to our Gradle file to add the material dependency so we'll go to build.gradle and I'll go and copy and paste it. I will leave a link in the description to the material dependency. So we just put it that, and then we click on sync now. It will take its time and it says configure successful. So let's just close that again and close our Gradle scripts to keep it a little bit more clear. Then we're gonna go to our values and we're gonna change the colors. And I'm just gonna change them all to dark blue this time just to make things look a bit different than the default. Oh, my bad. And there we go. And we're going to go to styles and inside styles, we are going to create a custom tab layout style, which is just going to be used to control the text size in case the text size doesn't really work out for you. So we're going to do style and we're going to write the name custom tab style. And it's going to have a parent text appearance dot design dot tab and inside here we're actually going to write an item which is going to be item android text size and just for the example of this video i'm going to add 10 sp and the next thing we want to do is create some vectors so we have to go to our drawable so we're going to go to our drawable folder and right click and go on new and we are going to click vector asset where we're going to go here and the first one we're going to search for is called home i will click ok and we'll go and change it to white and click OK again, and then Next, and Finish. And then we're gonna go again, create a new one. We're gonna now create a Favorites section. So we'll just go Favorite, go OK, click Next, Finish. And then we have to pick one more for this example. Let's go Vector Asset, and we'll just type in Settings, because those are pretty common, and they look pretty nice. And next, we can go to our Activity Main XML and actually work on the layout. So we're gonna go to the Split Layout, and the first thing we're going to do is remove this text view. And instead of that, we are going to add the app bar layout. So this material app bar layout, and it's going to match the parent for the width and wrap content for the height. And we're going to give it an ID, app bar layout. All right, and next, before we continue this, I actually forgot one thing in styles. So let's go to styles, and we're going to change this to no action bar. And that's all. Now we can go back to our activity main XML and continue here. We are going to close it with this. And inside here, we're going to add the, ta uh, the tab layout. So we're going to do tab layout. And we're going to pick this material tabs.tab layout. Match parent for the width and wrap content for the height. And we're going to give it that custom tab appearance. So it's going to be tab text appearance. Uh, it's going to take our custom style, which is that style custom tab style. And then under that, we can go to tab background, which is going to be our color primary dark. Then we're going to get app and write tab gravity, which should be on fill. So it takes everything with even space. And we're going to do tab inline label. And this is in case you have a label. If you don't put this, it will just put the label under the icon instead to the side. I prefer to have the label on the side rather than under. So here we're just going to write true, or then we're going to go to tab modes and we're going to write fixed. And if you put auto or scrollable, it's going to change it to mean that you can actually scroll it to the side if it's too long. And uh, yeah, if you have lots and lots of tabs, that could be useful. But uh, for this example three, it should be fixed. And finally, we're going to write tab text color, which is going to be at Android and it's going to be color white just to keep things simple. And then we're going to close that. And right before we continue, we are going to change this to a relative layout because I forgot to do that. So we'll go here, we'll type in relative layout. And then right under, we can continue with the view pager. So we're going to go open angle brackets and write view pager. And we're going to pick the first one, not the number two. Match parents, match parents. We're going to give it an ID of view pager. And finally, we're going to do uh, below and it's going to be the app bar layout. So essentially, it's going to just hold this whole white space over here. And that's where we're going to include all our fragments and everything else. Then we can just close that and click on Control-Alt and Control-Alt and L just to smoothen everything up. 
It's a very nice shortcut that keeps your code looking good. But yeah, after that, we actually can go ahead and start creating our fragments. So let's go here, let's create a new package. We're gonna call these fragments, just to keep a nice order in the project. So then we're gonna go here, we're gonna write new, and we're gonna go fragment, and we're gonna go to empty fragment or blank fragment. And the first one we're gonna, just gonna call home fragment. We're gonna click on finish. Then inside here, we're gonna actually cancel a lot of things to make everything a bit simpler. So we're gonna go here and delete all of that. We can delete all of this. We can delete these arguments. And finally, we're gonna delete this companion object. Just so you have this simple layout. It's gonna be on create, on create view. That's all you need for this example. Yeah, then we're gonna copy and paste this one. So command, uh, control copy, and we're gonna write favorites. Fragments and of course we need to do the same for the XML. So here we're going to go down and write fragment favorites And we're going to click on OK And yes, it's going to do that over there Then we have to go back here and we have to make sure to change the layout to fragment favorites And then we're going to do that one more time. So can uh, control copy and we're going to write settings fragments, and we're going to click on OK and we are going to create a, I mean, we're going to copy and paste that home one more time and do settings and click on OK. Now we have to go back to settings and here we're going to do the same thing, fragment settings. Now the next thing to do is to customize these fragments. So we're going to go fragment home and we're going to click on split. And inside here, we're just going to Actually, I'm just going to copy and paste what I had earlier, which is a relative layout with a text view inside so I could center it. The relative layout has match parent for the height and width. And inside I just put a text view that says home for the example of home. But after that, just copy and paste that. Go to favorites, go to the split mode and paste that in there and just change the text to favorites. And the same thing is going to happen for settings. We're going to go to split mode and inside here we will write settings and it's simple as that so now we have three fragments or three pages and you can create as many as you need for your uh, app but this is just to keep things simple for now and the next thing we want to do is create an adapter so we're going to go new and we're going to write package and we're going to name adapters name it adapters and inside this package we're going to go new and we're going to write kotlin file class we're going to type in view pager adapter and it's going to be of type class. And the first thing we're gonna do in here is add a parameter, which is gonna be support fragment manager of type fragment manager. And that's going to extend fragment pager adapter, which is gonna take support fragment manager. And finally, it's gonna take behavior resume current fragment. And of course, that's going to add an error to the class because it wants you to implement a few members. So we're going to implement these members. And uh, at the top, we have to create actually two values. One's gonna be private value uh, m fragment list, which is going to be an array list of fragments. And we're gonna create another private val, which is going to be another array list of m fragment title list. So one's going to hold the fragments, one's going to hold the titles. So array list of string. And inside here, we are going to get rid of this to do and replace it with return m fragment list at the index of position. And let's just make that a bit nicer by writing command uh, control plus alt and L. And then we can go to our get count which is gonna also be very simple. It's gonna be return, which is gonna be return m fragment list. And this one's gonna be dot size. And then under we have to override one more function, which is get page title. And inside here, we're just gonna return m fragment title list at position. And finally, we just have to add a function, which is gonna be function add fragment. And inside here, it's gonna take fragment of type fragments and a title of type string. And all we have to write in here is m fragment list dot add, and it's gonna be fragments and m fragment title list dot add, and that's gonna be of title. 
And that's all we have to do in our adapter. Now we can finally go to our main activity and put all the codes uh, and put all of this together. So to keep things nice and orderly, we're going to create a function called set up tabs. And that's going to go inside our on create. Then we're going to do a we're going to create a private function of the same name. And inside here, the first thing we want to do is assign our adapter. So value adapter is a view pager adapter and it will take support fragment manager inside. Then we can do adapter dot add fragments. And the first fragment we want to add is the home fragment and we want to give it a title so we can do home for example. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other two. So adapter dot add fragments favorites fragments and we're going to type favorites and then adapter dot add fragments and finally the settings fragment. And then we have to write view pager dot adapter is going to be this adapter. And before we continue, I forgot something else, which is located in our activity main. We need to give this tab layout an ID, which is going to be at ID and we're going to name it tabs. And then we can go back to our main activity and write tabs from activity main XML. And we can write setup with view pager and it's going to take the view pager from our activity main XML. And down here, we are going to assign the icons to the different pages. So if we go to tabs and type get at the index of zero, which is our home, and then we need to assert that it is, we have to assert that it is non null and write set icon. And then we can get our R dot drawable and then just type in home and it will give you that icon. And we're going to do the same thing for the other two. So I'm just going to copy and paste that and make sure to update the index to one and two. The second one is going to change to favorites and the third one is going to change to settings. And with that being said, we have successfully completed the tab layout. So as you can see, now we have three layouts and if you tap on home, you stay on home on favorites, it will switch to favorites on settings, it will go settings, or you can drag it with your mouse or your finger, preferably. But as you can see there, the favorites text doesn't really fit into the app bar. So what you can do is go to styles and change the text size to something a bit smaller, let's say 6SP. Although I do not recommend you do this in a real app because that is far too small. And also I'm using a custom text size on my phone. That's why all this text seems a bit uh, bigger than it should be. But there you can edit your text to your likings. This might seem a bit too small for the menu at the top, but you can fit more text in there. Otherwise, my preference is actually to remove the text completely. So we can go to our main activity and the way to do that, all you have to do is remove these titles or just not include the titles and click on play again. And it will reload the app and it will include the icons without any titles. And as you can see there, that also looks great. You can click on home favorites and settings. It's very smooth. It's very easy to set up. And I really hope this tutorial helped you in some way. If you have any other recommendations for videos I should make, please leave them in the comment section below and I will take a look at them. But with that being said, I will see you in another video.